Hey guys, it's Johnny here with Rock and Pop Finals, episode 66, and I want to start off right away by thanking you for taking time out of your day to watch my little channel here about collecting Funko Pops, action figures, character collector cars, and of course, my love for vinyl records. Well, this episode is not going to be as hectic as my last episode, which was the epic Funko Pop mail call. Let me tell you, that was nuts. I haven't done a mail call of that size of Funko Pups in a while. So this one I'm kind of looking forward to. It kind of relax a little bit, ease into it. It's uh, just a couple mail items and some uh, Out in the Wild stuff that I picked up. So let's start off right away with Barnes & Noble. Um, a couple weeks ago, Barnes & Noble had this awesome sale where they were selling Funko Pops. They were two for $10. It was a no-brainer. Had to go and check it out. Uh, from what I gather, I mean, from what I hear, that um, Barnes & Noble is getting out of the Funko game entirely. I don't know if there's any fact to that just yet, but with this fire sale they're having, all signs are leading towards, uh, I'd say, yeah. Barnes & Noble in general, they're in transition. They're not exactly in the best situation as a company, so I think they're just trying anything and everything to maximize profits. I don't know what what's going on with them but uh you know i wish them the best and you know it, it, of all the retailers that i do go to for funko pops um barnes and noble was always my least favorite to begin with so to see how much money they spent on them and how many they would carry if, i mean i'm sure any of you who have gone to barnes and noble have seen it it's unreal how many funko pops they are carrying so that type of uh inventory when you're not doing that well to begin with is kind of uh you know it's not gonna help them any so like I said they had a fire sale it was two for ten bucks you can't beat it um they didn't have a lot of real good things anything and you know honestly I just went in there and said you know hey let's see what I can get so I picked up a few items that I had been interested in the past but kind of just kept on passing on and I figured what a great time to pick up items like that when they're only five dollars a piece so I picked up this Scarlet Witch now this is from the 80 years of Marvel um, anniversary i really like this uh pop from day one when it came out but at the same time it, i was just on the fence you know couldn't make up my mind if i wanted it or not at five dollars and the condition that it is couldn't pass it up it was great so five dollars for that i picked up another one from that series we have black widow excellent condition again no brainer couldn't help it had to pick it up for uh, five dollars. Not only that was it the uh, two for five. I also ended up getting my ten percent discount with my Barnes and Noble um, frequent flyer card, and it actually ended up knocking these down to about four fifty each. So there you have it. So there you are, Black Widow finally got it. Great price. And when it comes to you know situations like that where the prices are phenomenal, I mean it's a great way to complete. Um, um, series if you haven't been able to do that or just add pops like I said that you were on the fence about and that's a perfect time and I believe they're actually still doing this sale so check it out I don't know if they're doing anything online with it but I for sure in store so next up we've got ourselves Pikachu now I'm not a big fan of a lot of these games and stuff like that but I do like the Pokemon ones I think they're fun uh, especially all the Pikachus I try to collect all of them but like you you know can't beat it great condition uh this is the one of the newer ones it just came out where he's all you know upset and pouting and uh kind of angry looking but it's cool pop for five dollars no brainer gotta have it so here we are last one i only picked up four even though it was a great deal i you know i, I wasn't looking to you know take all their pops i just wanted certain ones and uh this fell in that category and here we are we got another pikachu he's real fun this one's a lot happier than Mr. Uh, Grump Pants here, but if we can see the condition of these are freaking awesome, and for that price, you can't beat it. And then, you know, it was just a good way to pick up a few extra pops that I, you know, I did have interest in, but I was completely on the fence about. All right, so there's that, and let's go into a, a couple action figures I picked up. I picked up this at Walmart. Walmart had a fire sale on some of their legends a couple weeks ago, and they were literally five bucks what legends for five bucks now mind you it was very it wasn't cream of the crop stuff but for five dollars i ended up picking up this loki pretty freaking awesome i i actually really was interested in this when it first came out um but it, i just kind of kept on passing it up passing it up passing it up and i wasn't in love with it enough at the price point of 1995 it just wasn't at five dollars sold can't beat it had to have it in my collection now worth 
all five dollars. So picked up that recently. I went to Target and I picked up this. Now of course this is a brand 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 new pop just came out and it was 1995 but completely worth my 1995 and it's these um, Iron Man from the Gamerverse for the game Avengers and um, I'm I'm a big fan of all the Iron Man uh, Iron Man um, legends and so I try to collect them all and this is this one goes without exception had to have it and uh, he is just really really cool looking check that out I mean awesome awesome looking figure and uh i in that day i looked out they literally took him out of the box and they put him on the shelf right in front of me and i haven't seen him in the store since so obviously his popularity is there especially this particular one great pickup was very excited about that all right so recently we also had a bunch of joes that came out and people went hunting for those and they were very hard to come by i lucked out i ended up going into target yesterday and ended up getting two new ones that people were looking for that were uh, a lot of collectors were out looking for these this is for that special missions cobra island set and i ended up picking up this cobra trooper freaking awesome looking i really like this set um it's just it, it's perfect with my uh, action figures i mean i love the detail on these um i love all the accessories like all the firearms and and Things like that. Now, with this particular one, the firearms for me, they're fine. You know, this black firearm standard, and it looks pretty cool. Um, it's a cool figure to have, the Cobra Trooper. But this one here, which is called the uh, Wayne Beachhead Sneeden, he is way co cool looking. Way, way cool looking. But the problem is that I don't like about this is he's got some cool accessories, but they're all green. I don't like that at all. I mean, I just don't. I like the figure. So, you know, that wasn't really going to, you know, derail me from purchasing this. But I wish they would have done something with the accessories. Maybe like a two-tone color. Maybe like a green and black or something like that. I just, I'm not a fan of when they do this, like a single color weapon. Especially when all the weapons are the same color. His knife, is he's got a crossbow, he's got a machine gun, he's got a handgun. And they're all the same color. To be honest with you that that wouldn't happen so but the figure itself is awesome like i said it wasn't going to derail me from purchasing this it's a way cool figure welcome addition to my action figure family i kind of like this cobra trooper a little bit more just because you know they did stick with just standard black weapons which is great but um yeah i'm a klutz with these that has of late but uh it, it's a cool it's a cool figure dig it a lot and there you are so pick up a couple new joes I was also out and about, and I found a few more pops. These are all massively new current ones. I found this one at Walmart. This is a Walmart exclusive Mr. Sinister. He's awesome. He's a way cool looking pop. He's got a very metallic look to him. So I don't know if he's going to be considered a metallic or is that just the paint job on him? But you can see on his outfit here, it's got like a metallic paint. And uh, he's just really freaking cool. I mean, he's cool looking um and uh you know it's an exclusive of course i love my wall you know any exclusives i'm all about that but it is a walmart exclusive um the day that he was released there was actually like 10 you know and i went to a couple other walmarts and they were completely sold out they were also completely sold out online so um it was a pretty hot ticket right away but i'm pretty sure this is going to get restocked quite a bit just because I think there's a ton of them made to be honest with you but there you have it mr sinister awesome dig it so there's that all right so i ended up going to another walmart and i was excited about this because i had my uh, about three episodes ago i was talking about the shared exclusive uh marty checking watch from back to the future for walmart um a few episodes ago i had talked about actually finding this on a monday prior to its release at a Walmart and of course what ended up happening was I ended up taking out the pop to the front register I actually went to the you know the self-checkout and when I went to ring it up it would not ring up and of course I knew it was street dated I knew the street date for that item was that Thursday of that week but the thing is they put them out for sale and unfortunately they came up to me and they said you know that was their fault for doing it fill in the blank and they denied me the sale 
So with that said, that Thursday finally came up for it to be on the floor and they were completely sold out. There was only one in the building and it was completely crushed. So obviously no one was buying it. So I very, pretty, pretty much chalked it up that I had missed out on that pop. Well, I lucked out this past week. I walked in and there was one just sitting on the shelf, hanging out. There was no other ones there. He's in great shape, and that made me happy because I really wanted to complete this collection. And the only one that I'm missing out of this collection is the Doc uh, 2015, and then I have this one completely done. So there you are. That's the shared exclusive from uh, this year's San Diego Comic-Con, Virtual Con, what have you. So I finally got him. So I ended up going to our friends here at Box Lunch. And I'm not going to put this whole thing on the table because i got a whole bunch of room. Uh, you know, not a lot of space right here. But I'm just going to go ahead and pull out what I ended up purchasing. And I, man, I, I kick butt. I found some really cool ones here. And I want to share them with you because they're freaking awesome. So I ended up getting the Box Lunch exclusive Spider-Man with him holding the pizza. And he's got the uh, shirt that says, I love pie. This is a new series coming out called the Marvel eat the universe right here that's the logo for this line i'm not really sure what the other ones are going to be but it is completely novelty it's a lot of fun which is what i'm all about with um, my funko pop especially now um the more time more fun different stuff they play around with I, I i love it that's when i'm starting to really flock towards and gravitate to and this is without exception so i'm kind of excited for this marvel uh, eat the universe line and there you have it there's your box lunch exclusive spider-man i was taking a look at it real quick because when i bought this everything looked fine but it looks like i got a little bit of a nick here in the corner and i'm not really sure if i just didn't see it when i purchased it or maybe i accidentally did it well while moving the bag if that's the case uh, that sucks but it's still a really cool pop okay so i got four more here to show everything now these ones are all part of the same line this is the uh minions and what they did with these, these are their Halloween pops with the minions. I'm not a big fan of like collecting for like um, the actual, um, sh the movies themselves. But this line, I, it dawned on me that it wasn't part of like the movies. This is actually just a set of minions pops and they put them in uh, their, you know, Halloween attire and for, you know, the season coming up. So right here we have Frank and Bob. These, this whole set is cool. It's a set of four simple run and they had all four of them available and i purchased them so the first one here is frank and bob he's freaking awesome love it all right next up we have creature mel like i said i'm really gravitating to pops of this nature right now that where they're just taking a lot of liberties and uh mixing and putting them in different situations and like i said they're they're a whole lot of fun and these pops to me these will have a greater value down the way, especially as complete sets, as long as they're not like super big, not pulling like, you know, in like a 10 to 12 run. Like this is only a set of four, like I said. Um, and it's, it's just a really cool set. I dig it. So there you are. Creature Mel. Love it. Okay, we have got two more to go here. And we have Mummy Stewart. Like I said, this is just a really cool set. I dig it. These are all in great shape. And uh, it was really cool for them to all be on the shelves like that. That doesn't really happen a lot of times when I go in the store. And so I really try to jump on it when it does happen. And our last one here is Bride Kevin. Awesome set. Welcome addition to my... Actually, this is actually, you know, they put this in the movie, the movie line. So my favorite pops out there are the movie pops. I love everyone they come out with. And uh, yeah, they just keep on making really cool ones. And like I said, these ones are completely flipping fun. So had to have that. So that is the end on the... Uh, actually, out in the wild, I have a couple mail items I wanted to share with you. I've got one right here from Amazon. This right here, I already know what this is. Um... This is a, uh, well, let's bust out the trusty Rock and Pop Vinyls opening knife here. And what this is, I found, I, again, this whole video was a lot of stuff that I was on the fence about purchasing. Um, as you know, in the past videos, I am a big fan of the McFarlane DC Universe line that he has come out with. And I have every single one of them except for this one, but now the... Um, the collection is complete. We have the Wonder Woman. 
from 1984 in golden armor. Uh, the only reason I was really on the fence about this is I was really not a fan of the head sculpt on either one, this or the regular Wonder Woman. Uh, the rest of the series, they've really outdone themselves. Now, the figures themselves are freaking phenomenal. Take a good look at it. I mean, it's just... Got, has great points of articulation, but the head sculpt was something to be desired. Now, this one, the more I looked at it and compared it to the back stock card with Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot right here, um, I realized that this one was not as bad. It was actually a better job on the Golden Armor Wonder Woman than they had done on the um, regular Wonder Woman. Now, the regular Wonder Woman's figure, though, is phenomenal, so I had to have it. I had no problem purchasing that one. But like I said, I was really on the fence about this one, but I ended up finding this on Amazon for... Um, I got this for $17.99, so it was $2 below regular retail everywhere else, like Target and Walmart. They have it for $19.95, so that was kind of like the extra selling point because I ended up getting the free shipping with Prime. So I finally said, screw it, get it, complete your McFarlane, and he's got two new waves coming out so that are just going to be freaking amazing. Like I am so excited for the next two waves of the McFarlane DC multi-universe um, figures that I'm actually just stepping back, saving up some money to purchase those because I love everything about them. So there you are, finally off the fence, finally have her in my collection. And as it stands with the McFarlane figures, I am, a matter of, I, well, I say I was caught up and then I realized that they did release a blue version of the animated Batman. I have not been able to find him yet. So once I get him, then I'll be complete until... They come out with the uh, the next two lines that are coming out. All right, so my last item to share with you guys is it's going to be a big one. It's a big box, and we'll get this open as quickly as possible. I say we, it's me. But let me show you this box. So I'm a little worried. Huge, huge, huge freaking dent right there. The tape's coming up right there. I mean, seriously, I mean, I... We're going to get this open as quickly as possible, but I'm I'm just hoping and praying that there is no damage done. Um, I know what this is, but I'm just, I'm hoping I don't have to send it back because it, oh, sorry, I just messed up my Michael Myers bobblehead here. So let's see. Um, well, we got a box in the box. Okay, well, this looks pretty good. Doesn't look like this, the, the inside box is messed up. So... Um, this is a 10 inch pop. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I pre-ordered this about two months ago um, and finally it's here. And let's see, let's make sure it's in good shape. Alrighty. All right, we look like we're in really good shape. All right guys, we have Jack Skellington with zero 10 inch freaking pop. Freaking awesome. I love the way he looks. Let's see, maybe if that's too close. <laughs> I'm not really sure about it. But it is an awesome 10-inch, a very welcome addition to my ever-growing 10-inch collection. Um, I This, to me, was a no-brainer. I, I love this movie. It's I love the Disney pops in general, and this is just a welcome addition. Can't wait to put them downstairs with the rest of my 10-inch pops. But, yeah, so... Hey guys, that's it. That's the entire episode. Um, actually, I didn't realize how many pops I, I had, but it almost rivaled the last episode. But that that mail that that mail uh, call was insane. But anyway, hey guys, that's the end of this episode of Rock and Pop Vinyls. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, ring that bell down below so you guys can get notifications on any future video drops I do have. And like I said, I really do appreciate you. I'll see you next time, and uh, bye.